Welcome back to Star Wars Central. 2015 is going to be an amazing year for Star Wars news. Not only is Star Wars Episode 7 releasing on December 18th, which is it's going to be fantastic, I mean the teaser did look very good, but we're also going to get a reboot of Star Wars Battlefront that is being developed by DICE Stockholm, possibly the best developers for the job. These are the same developers that made the award-winning and very similar Battlefield series, which Battlefront was basically a carbon copy of. The reboot is still about a year away from release, because it's slated to release alongside The Force Awakens in December, which in my opinion it's a great idea since the sheer amount of hype and all the publicity and media attention at that time should make the game successful. It also gives them enough time to reduce the likelihood of another Battlefield 4 fiasco, which I'll be going over in another video because I could, see I could rant for hours about how I'm worried about it, but that's for some other video, some other time. So last year, at the E3 conference in June, DICE said that we would see more of Battlefront in spring of 2015. This won't be within the next few months. We are likely to see DICE revealing more of Battlefront and the gameplay demonstration and probably a trailer that accompanies it sometime in March of this year. I assume it's going to be in March because DICE and EA have a long history of revealing games at GDC. In 2013, Battlefield 4 had the gameplay demonstration released showing about 17 minutes of gameplay from one of the missions, which I believe was called Fishing in Baku. It was fantastic. We saw everything we needed to see. We thought the game looked awesome. The helicopter crash, uh, shooting down the helicopter with a grenade launcher. It was very cool, and it was obviously definitely planned out to be that mission from the start. Now, it would be awesome if we got 17 minutes of Battlefront gameplay, but it's Battlefront. It's never had a good campaign. I would imagine we would see more demonstrations of instant action and multiplayer showing the technical side of things and what they've accomplished, getting more bots in, making the maps bigger, more vehicles. I'd imagine that's what we're going to see. As for this reveal, GDC is going to be hosted on March the 2nd to March the 6th of this year. So that's definitely something to look forward to and pencil into your calendars. In regards to this new release, I don't really know what we'll see. So far, EA and DICE have been quite restrictive on what they show us and very conservative on the amount of announcements they make. When Battlefront was first teased, we had announcements almost weekly, even if it was just tiny bits of news to keep the community going. But then shortly after that, about three or four months later, it all died off. And to be honest, it was quite disappointing because the community sort of died with that. And I know the idea was that by the time the next E3, the hype will have grown again and the community will be back, but... Frankly, they didn't come back. There are some people which I know used to comment on my videos all the time and they basically stopped watching because there wasn't any tangible news to talk about and I think that's the main problem. EA and DICE's sort of marketing plan, hype plan in a sense, is in vast contrast to the widely successful Destiny where Bungie were releasing news on an almost weekly basis which actually worked because although they weren't releasing anything that was game-changing or whoa, it's, it's a big announcement. They were releasing little news questions, little sort of Q&As, their weekly mail sack. People loved it. Uh, it got people really into the game before the game was even released. I think that's the problem with Battlefront at the moment. You've got the old fans which are going to be into it regardless, but then what's to make new people get into it? Other than a big flashy trailer, you can't rely on that all the time. I'd rather they move away from the one announcement a year profile and head more towards giving us something every month. Anyway, that's just my idea on the matter. So for that reason, it's very difficult to speculate on what we will see in March, but I'm sure that regardless of the content, we will be impressed. That's it for today. I recently started a new series on this channel that will be turning my room into a Star Wars man cave or nerd cave, if you will. The first episode of this series is in the description below and on screen now. If you do watch it, be sure to leave me a comment telling me what you thought of the first episode, since I need as much feedback as I can get when it comes to making a new series. That's it for today, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video and may the force be with you.